We have with us Manish Purohit, who is a former ISRO scientist. Thank you so much for joining us on Beyond, Mr. Purohit. Thank you, Raisha. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now, Mr. Purohit, after ISRO's Grand Chandrayaan success, the Indian Space Research Agency is now going to launch its first sun mission, Aditya L1 mission. What is the main objective of the mission? Can you shed some light on that? Uh, see, actually, somewhere at some point of time, we were supposed to start our exploration aims. We have been doing good in launching satellites in different orbits around the Earth. We have become kind of a, a very, you know, preferred partner for many uh, spacefaring different entities. Those who want to launch their satellites like OneWeb and different other satellites. Singapore recently had a few launches with us. Now, the next step in the big mission of, you know, creating that big image of ISRO on the global front will be taking up these big steps. So Chandrayaan-3 was that was the first one for that, and we have done it really good. Now we have lined up many things, not just Aditya L1. After that, we have our Gaganyaan testings and Gaganyaan flight module tests are there. Then we have NISAR coming up, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, that is coming up, that is slated for the next year. And then we have space docking experiment, where we'll be, we'll be doing, well, what we'll be doing, we'll be launching two satellites in two different orbits, and then we'll be showing that automated, autonomous docking of those two systems. That's the step, first step forward for our own indigenous space station. So many things are lined up because we have a new space policy in place and we want to have a good penetration in the global space economy. Now let's talk about Aditya. So Aditya is going to study sun. Actually, sun study of sun is very, very important because it controls the space environment around the Earth. Because everything that happens all around the Earth, everything happens in our solar system is mostly governed by the sun. So we should know when those solar flares are happening, when the solar maximas happen, those, you know, uh, very high energy magnetic fields when they just flare up from the sun and they push towards the earth and the other planets and when they carry high energy particles that can literally pay havoc here. Like, you know, there, there has been one event, we, we call it Carrington event. And during that time, uh, those high energy, you know, flares, they made up to the earth. It was in around 1843. And we, we saw something very unusual. Uh, there were sparks flying. So, so we, we should know what's happening in the sun and what how the sun behaves and we have to characterize it. We should have that information, that data that can help help us in, you know, uh, thinking a bit forward in you know, predicting in future that what may come and what's the reason for that. And, you know, Aditya L1 is our first step forward. And it's a very ambitious one because uh, Aditya has to travel around 15 lakh kilometers away from the earth towards the sun. It will take around almost, you know, three months time. The journey is a bit long. We will be doing the same thing. This row is really good at. We'll be using the gravity of the Earth right. to, you know, reach to that point. We'll be maneuvering around the Earth in different orbits, the way we did for Chandrayaan. But this time we'll be going a bit far. Then we'll reach a point called Lagrange. L1 is the Lagrange one point. It's a point in between Sun and Earth, not exactly at the middle, but somewhere around 15 lakh kilometers away from the Earth towards the Sun, where the gravitational pull of right. these right. two massive masses. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Uh, it seems like India has been to the moon, to the Mars, and now the sun. Thanks very much and next for joining. Is, and, and next, next, next is Venus. So we are Absolutely. planning to Priyan too. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your insights with us, Mr. Purohit. Thank you. Most welcome.